Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with Smothered Pork Chops. You know when a recipe has a name like Smothered Pork Chops? You know it's going to be easy. And this one is. So check it out. I have four nice, fairly thick pork chops, bone-in for sure. Make sure you get the bone-in pork chops. I also have one big onion that I sliced. Take your pork chops and sprinkle poultry seasoning. That's right. I know it's not poultry, but it works. Salt and pepper on both sides. And then in a skillet on medium-high heat and a little bit of vegetable oil, we're going to brown these really well on both sides. Now, you know what's sad? This is the largest good frying pan I have. So mine barely fit. So feel free to use a larger pan. Makes life a little easier. Once they're browned, take them off, put them on a plate, reserve. We're going to pour off that excess oil, add butter to the pan, place it on medium heat, add your onion and a big pinch of salt. We're going to brown these for a long time, for about 15 minutes. We want them very brown, all right? Very important part of this gravy is the dark brown caramelized onion. That salt's going to draw some of the water out of the onions, and you see how it kind of deglazes the bottom of the pan. All right, so after they're really dark brown, go ahead and add your garlic. That just gets one minute. We're going to add our flour. That gets about two minutes. So once that's set, I'm going to pour in my chicken broth. Do not, repeat, do not use beef broth for this. That, of course, is going to deglaze the bottom. Then take the plate that your pork chops are resting on. There's going to be some delicious juices on the plate. Go ahead and pour those into the pan. I'm going to pour in a little bit of buttermilk. Not much, just a little hint. It's going to give it a little tanginess to balance the sweetness of the caramelized onions. And by the way, this is still on medium heat. So this is the perfect consistency for my sauce right now. So now you're wondering, then why did you add water? Because I want this to simmer for about 15 minutes to really melt those onions down. If I didn't put any water, it would just get too thick. So that's just a way to adjust the viscosity of the sauce. Thank you, Alton Brown. All right, after about 15, maybe even 20 minutes of simmering that beautiful onion gravy, put your pork chops back in, and they should be really close to being cooked through all the way from the frying on both sides. But I'm going to say, on average, you simmer this on low. Make sure you turn your heat down to low. You're going to simmer this on low for probably 10 minutes, and they will be beautifully cooked through. Of course you have to adjust. If you have thinner or thicker chops, could take 5 minutes, could take 15 minutes. Okay, make sure you taste your sauce, adjust the seasoning. We're going to throw it up on some rice, which I highly recommend. Spoon over some of that sauce, and you are in pork heaven. Smothered pork chops, an old southern classic. Really easy. I hope you give it a try. Go to the site. All the ingredients are there. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.